hello guys in this video you'll be learning how to discover active domains using http probe created by tom hudson he is also known as tom nom nom a security researcher and an open source tool maker before we proceed if you're new to this channel or haven't subscribed yet ensure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button besides it in order to get notified anytime i upload a new video let's say you found a list of subdomains using a tool like sublister you realize that when you try visiting some of these domains you found they tend to be inactive and do not resolve imagine you trying to discover active domains from a huge list of domains it's very impractical to do it manually which is why i made this video to show you how to discover active subdomains automatically let's begin by installing the tool we'll be using for this here is the tool you find the link in the video description below copy open up your terminal type git clone and paste the link to download the tool this tool is built using golang to run this tool you need to have golang installed to install golang simply type sudo apt-get install golang wait for it to finish downloading and installing and that's it i already have golang installed navigate to the repository we cloned earlier on using the cd command cd htt probe let's compile the tool you'll we'll say go build main.go Let's rename main to HTTP probe. I have a list of subdomains in a file called domain.txt so I'll use this command to scan for active subdomains If you use this command and it did not work for you, then you have to set a path for this tool. You can set the concurrency level to whatever number you like, but I recommend setting smaller numbers for better results. Let's set the concurrency level to 100 and see the result. Okay. Let's do 50. Interesting. We got better results with 50 even though it's a little bit slower than 100. Let's do 20. Great, that's what I'm talking about. Smaller numbers give better results even though it's slower. Go with whichever works for you. By default, HTT Probe checks for HTTP on port 80 and HTTPS on port 443. But you can choose to probe other specific ports by adding additional probes using the hyphen P flag. Sometimes you just want to check for only HTTPS and not HTTP. You can do that with the hyphen hyphen prefer HTTPS flag. If you found this video very helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.